Welcome to Celebrity Onset. I'm your host, Tony Rowley. I want to remind everybody to join us at CelebrityOnset.com and Facebook and Twitter at Celebrity Onset. Amber Marcella isn't here with us today, so I'm doing it solo, but I am joined with our celebrity guest today, Bob Faust who lives here in Las Vegas. He's a former uh, pro baseball player, coach, scout. Uh, he's uh, been a radio host, uh, actor. What else? Well, legally, that's about all we can claim. Um, but I have been in Las Vegas since 1985. I came up here and I managed to catch on uh, with the Las Vegas Stars. And that's back when it was in the uh, Padre organization day. and. Um, I uh, wound up working with them for eight years, eight great years. I had a lot of fun. My last two years was 1992 and 93, uh, when Jim Riggleman was the manager here. Everybody knows Jim Riggleman, the quitter, who quit on the in the middle of the season uh, and forced Davey Johnson to come out of retirement last year. But uh, I've been involved in professional baseball in and out for over 25 years. I've coached a little bit collegiately, and then have dabbled in the other fields of baseball, announcing, managing. I once uh, formed my own summer collegiate team here in Las Vegas, which right now, if you're a baseball fan, you'll know that they have the Summer California Baseball League. And I believe there's now two teams from Las Vegas in that league. Mm -hmm. And you get the top college players that play in these leagues, and they're great summer programs. And I'd like to think that I'm one of the people that pioneered that in this town. Um, I opened the first private baseball school here in Las Vegas, uh, did a lot of private instruction. Uh, that now has since been taken over by the Las Vegas Baseball Academy. I think they have a little more money than I do. <laughs> so, you know, those, those are some of the things. But we ran scout teams here. My friend Hank Robinson, who's now deceased, uh, many of you may not know Hank by name, but you would know him as the arguing umpire from the movie uh, Naked Gun. With oh, Leslie okay. Nielsen. Yeah. <laughs> and basically through him, that's how I got my acting start because uh, we I did the talent for the game. I played the pitching coach in a talent for the game, 1990 Paramount, $24 million, Edward James Olmos, Lorraine Brackow, Jamie Sheridan. Uh, the movie ran for wow. about a week, and then you want to cast for this show? We, and then went right, <laughs> and then went right to the, and went right to uh, video. So that was it. But you know, there's always funny stories on set. Yeah, and we'll get into that. But more importantly, you are a veteran. I am. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I'm a combat veteran, uh, decorated combat veteran. Uh, I was in Vietnam in 1969. I served uh, as a point man for an Army recon team. So I had that, and you know, it, I don't look at it as a real positive. I'm not a gung-ho guy. Um, I am a veteran. I'm a third generation VFW. My grandfather served in World War I. My father served in World War II. My father was drafted at 30 years old, spent five years in Guadalcanal. So the Army draft has, has, has taken its toll on my family. Yeah. So, but yes, I did spend a combat tour, and um, you know, to be honest with you, it was, it was quite difficult to come back and to get back into society. And when I look at the veterans today that are coming back and I look at the job market out there and, and how they try to integrate into it, it looks like a pretty disastrous situation to me. I'd like to be the head of the VA. And you were that. drafted right out of high school, right? I was, I was. I lost a baseball scholarship. I lost a chance to be drafted very high in the professional draft. Uh, so I basically, uh, went to college, I uh, went to junior college, none of the coaches were really interested in me uh, because they knew I would be drafted at some point and there were other people that had deferments whether it was a student deferment or they got their girlfriend pregnant and they got the paternal they got the paternal deferment but I was 4A all along and so then uh, you know into the army I go yeah. and I'll tell you, I'm going to tell you a little funny story <laughs> we're out at the hand grenade range at Fort Ord and it's in basic training it's like the first six weeks and pretty much the hand grenade is out, range is way out in the boon sticks it's in the boondocks because uh, you know you don't want to have a bunch of hand grenades around buildings and people so you know that's not a good mix <laughs> but at any rate we're out there and we've been out on the field the range they call it all day long <clears throat> And uh, the sergeant that's running it, it's the end of the day, it's 6 o'clock, and we have to go back five miles to the buses that brought us out. And basically they want us to double time back, and we're wearing field packs and the whole thing. So the lieutenant who runs the, uh, who runs the range, he comes out, he's a young second lieutenant, 
probably 20 years old, tells us how he was all a professional baseball player with the White Sox. And if anybody in our company can step up and out throw him with a hand grenade, we don't have to double time back to the bus. We can march back. <laughs> so I get volunteered. For some reason, that my name always comes up in these situations. So I get volunteered for the hand grenade throw. So I go out on the range and I get ready to throw. I take my pack off and he's like, no, 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 you have to throw with your pack on. I, I get to throw without the pack. I out threw him by 35, 40 feet. Oh, wow. No problem. <laughs> so that's... I that's where that came in. My first time at the grenade range, first time throwing a grenade, um, pull the pin and I throw it, and I guess I didn't hit the deck quick enough. All I felt was a, a hand around my neck slamming my Marine Corps face in the dirt. You know, recruit, <laughs> you, I told you to hit the deck. So obviously you weren't a pro baseball draft pick. No, actually, I guess I wanted to watch the thing go off, and you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to throw it and hit the deck. I guess. I just throw them as far as I can. I didn't have to worry about it. But I but, didn't have that kind of an arm. So. But at any rate, uh, so that was, that was you know the way that went. And then I wound up uh, finally getting sent to Vietnam and served. And then I came back, and you know I kind of wanted to play baseball. And um, I, I'm from Southern California originally. I grew up in Orange County in Southern California, and I wanted to go to the colleges, you know, the junior colleges down there, and try to see if I could catch on. But they weren't too interested in having Rambo on the bench. <laughs> uh, all right, Rambo, we're going to take a quick we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be more. We'll be back with more with uh, Bob Faust. Family owned and operated since 1964, Transmission Service Center has provided quality and friendly service for almost 50 years. We service and rebuild standard and automatic transmissions, transfer cases, and clutches. Visit our trusted certified professionals at Transmission Service Center at 3088 South Highland Drive or call us today at 702-735-9373. That's 735 735- 9373. Why pay more? Go to Melinda's Tire Warehouse. Whether you need tire service for your car, motorhome, or even a semi truck, come to us. We also specialize in brakes, skin ups, struts, oil changes, transmission services, and towing. We have two locations to serve you at 1530 North Mellis Boulevard and 1800 North Boulder Highway. Both locations are open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 8, and Sunday, 8 to 6. Call 702-813-4072. We are Reliable Auto Sales, a number one rated seller of top quality pre-owned exotic vehicles, cars, trucks, and SUVs with over 200 in stock. We have the best financing options for any credit situation in the industry. We offer 24-hour online operator assistance, vehicle warranties, payoffs, and we accept trade-ins. See our selection of vehicles at ReliableNV.com or visit us at 1815 East Sahara Avenue. Mention 1230 AM and get an additional $1,230 off your purchase along with other current dealer specials. Reliable Auto Sales, 702-737-6688. The highway to success is advertising with Celebrity Onset. Hundreds of TV commercials. Hundreds of internet video podcast commercials. 15-second TV promos aired randomly 24-7. Unlimited upper third TV banners. 24-7 internet social media flooding of your business. Talk about your business on TV and much more. All for only $250 a month, no contract. For your free TV commercial, call 702-280-2469. India Masala Bar and Grill is Vegas' hotspot for North and South Indian cuisine, including Chicken 65 and Dosas. Lunch buffet served 1130 to 3 and dinner from 5 to 10. Compliment great food with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from their new bar. College students, military, firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel with credentials receive 20% off. Senior 65 plus 10% off. India Masala Bar and Grill, near Maryland and Flamingo at 1040 East Flamingo Road, 702-431-8313. Mia's Hubcaps and Wheels has new or used original hubcaps and wheels for all makes and models. Call us if you have damaged or scratched wheels in need of repair. We're located at 2550 East Tropicana Avenue, open seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call us today at 702-444-5270. That's 702-444-5270. 
NCAA, Action Towing is Vegas' full-service towing company, providing many services, such as free removal of illegally parked vehicles, tows, businesses, and private parties. AAA, Action Towing provides roadside assistance, including tire changes, lockout, fuel delivery, and jump start. Enjoy their car action every third Saturday of the month at 1 p.m. Open to the public and enter their cash drawing. AA Action Towing, 3035 Westwood Drive. Call 737-9100. That's easy. 737-9100. Welcome back to Celebrity Onset. I'm your host, Tony Rowley. Again, I want to remind you to join us at CelebrityOnset.com. On there, you can find all kinds of good photos and videos and information. Also, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at CelebrityOnset.com. Today, we're joined with Bob Faust. Uh, he's former uh, pro baseball player, scout. Uh, Coached a little, managed a little. Yeah. Acted a little, team. yeah, acted a little, <laughs> done a little of everything. Exactly. So, the Rambo remark. What well, was? Well, you know what you have with college coaches is you have a lot of young kids, and then you'll have the college coaches, and they want to they want to roughshod you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? They want to yell at you and scream at you. And that probably wasn't a good idea with me at that time. That, that was what I meant by that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when you came back, when you came back and was well, out of the military. Where did your life, where did it, how did it get into baseball again? Well, baseball was always, you know, my number one sport. I played other sports in high school, but I, I loved baseball, and I had a talent for the game. And speaking for the talent of the game, as I said, I, I did play the pitching coach and the talent for the game with Edward James Omo. So I want to tell you a funny story about that one, too. Actually, I have two funny stories. One of them I don't know if I can tell or not. But I actually wrote script for that movie. In the middle of the movie, the director came to me. His name was, uh, his name was, uh, uh, I'll think of his name, the director. He's a great guy, but he actually came over to me and asked me for advice on several scenes. And I was kind of impressed with that. And I really liked the entertainment, the movie business. Yeah. And I'd really like to, that's the, that's the direction I would like to get into right now. Although I'm getting older and I'm probably pretty right. much ready to retire. But, you know, I think the movie business would be a nice retirement home. Oh, yeah. And, and you're doing some, it's not like work, because it's something you, you enjoy or want to do. That's true. So. That's true. But, um, I, so I kicked around in the semi-pro leagues in Southern California, and I built myself a reputation um, as a coach. Then I, I wound up actually going back and coaching in college baseball. I coached at 1979. I coached at Cypress College. We were the 52nd ranked uh, collegiate college, two-year school. Uh, in Southern California, we wound up finishing number two in the, in the state oh, at wow. the end of the season. So we had a big year, 19 school records. So I kind of got some interest, but now, you know, now I'm 28, 29, 30 years old, and, uh, you know, nobody's really looking for the 30 year old pitcher. Yeah. So, but anyway, I, I kicked around uh, in, in the semi pro leagues for a while, coached a little bit collegiately, then I came up here in 85. And then I also worked with a lot of uh, individual players as a private instructor. Uh, basically, I'm a pitching coach, but I do, I do the whole game. I do hitting, base running, fielding, uh, metal part of the game, strategy. So um, I came up here in 85 and, and worked with the spot club down here, and then I went back to Southern California, and I had some pitchers that were in the major leagues that I worked with. And so in January, we all start working out. Mm -hmm. And then spring training starts in February, up in camp by February 14th or whatever. So I happened to be working with uh, Rick Burleson, a former uh, American League All-Star, six-time American League All-Star with the Boston Red Sox. And he uh, was with the California Angels, had torn his rotator cuff, was coming back from that, dislocated his shoulder in a weightlifting accident. So he actually sat out of pro baseball for two years. It's almost impossible to come back. So in the course of working with my pitchers, I met Rick Burleson and some other players, and I wound up doing some extra work with Rick and talking with him yeah. about the game and just, you know, helping him get healthy and stay healthy, and he wound up being the comeback player of the year in the American League in 1986. And it's surprising because you have these trainers around and they're supposed to, they're there for you, but it just seems like why are these sports stars, even today, you see they're tearing pectoral muscles or bicep muscles or tricep muscles and sometimes they're doing it when they're working out. Is they and, and that's completely true, but you know, a lot of these guys are working out on their own and they're, they're working out unsupervised. Baseball, because of the amount of money in baseball today, baseball has become much more regimented. Guys take much better care of their bodies. In my day, performing performance enhancing drugs was the greenies, which are amphetamines, or actually just a good old hangover. 
You know, I mean, guys are smoking pot. You got Doc Ellis throwing a no hitter, uh, stoned on LSD in the 60s. Then you got into the 70s and you got more into the, the, the players got more into the cocaine. Everybody was into the cocaine and that was pretty much. But then when you started getting into the 80s and the 90s, and I had a summer team here in 1990 that I started and coached. Like I said, I, I, I feel like I've, I helped pioneer the summer collegiate program here in Las Vegas. There's a lot of restrictions on a college program. And so if you're like Tim Chambers, who's a personal friend of mine, I love Tim, great guy, and I expect him to win a national championship any season now. The, he's, the UNLE uh, baseball program will be nationally ranked and they will be nationally known. I'll tell you that right now about Tim Chambers. But even them, they can't really be involved with summer programs. They can't take their same team and have a summer team with it because of the NCAA regulations. So they break everything up. So it's nice for these kids to have a place to play. Now you have a town like Las Vegas where in 1990 they did not have a community college here. Southern, uh, the College of the Desert wasn't here or Southern Nevada UNLV. Community College. Well, no, UNLV was here. It was under the guidance of Fred Dallimore in those days. He's oh, okay. a tremendous baseball coach and actually did get UNLV into the NCAA playoffs one year. Um, that's when he had Donovan Osborne and, and oh, okay. Matt, and, uh, and, uh, and Matt um, Williams, great third baseman. So those, those were the days, and then there was kind of a down period. But, uh, you know, Tim will get that program where it needs to be, but they're restricted on what they can do. So to have somebody like me that's local, that has baseball knowledge, that can, can manage your players, not that I'm a better coach than Tim or whatnot, <laughs> but, you know, I have many, many years of professional experience and coaching experience, and I've been very successful in my own right. So to have your kids come play for somebody like me as opposed to somebody's dad who's an American Legion coach or a high school coach or a... You know, even a high school coach is, is, is okay, but you know, like the little league coaches or the daddy coaches that want to come out. You, you, when you're at that collegiate level like that, you, you want your kids in the summertime playing for other professionals. You want them to go forward, not backward. So do you do anything uh, assisting children, kids uh, today? I am pretty much done. Pretty much done? I'm pretty much done. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to focus right now on, uh, on a writing career. I'm trying to write a little bit. I think I have a couple of interesting stories that people will like. Okay. Well, when we get back, we'll have more with Bob. Uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. We are Reliable Auto Sales, a number one rated seller of top quality pre-owned exotic vehicles, cars, trucks, and SUVs with over 200 in stock. We have the best financing options for any credit situation in the industry. We offer 24-hour online operator assistance, vehicle warranties, payoffs, and we accept trade-ins. See our selection of vehicles at ReliableNV.com or visit us at 1815 East Sahara Avenue. Mention 1230 AM and get an additional $1,230 off your purchase along with other current dealer specials. Reliable Auto Sales, 7 702-737-6688. Family owned and operated since 1964, Transmission Service Center has provided quality and friendly service for almost 50 years. We service and rebuild standard and automatic transmissions, transfer cases, and clutches. Visit our trusted certified professionals at Transmission Service Center at 3088 South Highland Drive or call us today at 702-735-735. 9373. That's 735-9373. Mia's Hubcaps and Wheels has new or used original hubcaps and wheels for all makes and models. Call us if you have damaged or scratched wheels in need of repair. We're located at 2550 East Tropicana Avenue, open seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call us today at 702-444-5270. That's 702-444-5270. Melinda's Towing Auto Service and Tires delivers complete car care service. Come to us for tires, rims, brakes, cleanups, trucks, oil changes, transmission services, and towing. We have two locations at 4031 East Lakeland Boulevard, open 8 to 8, and 2530 East Tropicana Avenue, open 24 hours a day. Call us at 702-813-4072.
Mastermind Tattoo Studio is Las Vegas's premier tattoo studio. With comfortable atmosphere and friendly staff, Mastermind is here to give you top quality artwork, fair pricing, and a fun, enjoyable time. We specialize in fine line, black, gray, color, and cosmetic tattooing. Come into Mastermind Tattoo at 3111 South Valley View Boulevard, Suite Q104, or call us at 702-227-3063. The highway to success is advertising with Celebrity Onset. Hundreds of TV commercials. Hundreds of internet video podcast commercials. 15-second TV promos aired randomly 24-7. Unlimited upper third TV banners. 24-7 internet social media flooding of your business. Talk about your business on TV and much more. All for only $250 a month, no contract. For your free TV commercial, call 702-280-2469. India Masala Bar and Grill is Vegas's hotspot for North and South Indian cuisine, including Chicken 65 and Dosas. Lunch buffet served 11.30 to 3 and dinner from 5 to 10. Compliment great food with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from their new bar. College students, military, firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel with credentials receive 20% off. Seniors 65 plus 10% off. India Masala Bar and Grill, near Maryland and Flamingo at 1040 East Flamingo Road, 702-431-8313. Welcome back to Celebrity Onset. I am joined with Bob Faust. He's, uh, like we said earlier, he is a former professional baseball player, scout, coach, uh, actor, oh God, all kinds of things. So, And we'll also get into what he's doing right now, kind of on the side, too, later on in the show. Now, we were talking a little bit about kids. Um, what have you done with kids in the past? Well... Uh, you know, actually, I've coached at every level of baseball. I've coached 9 and 10, 11 and 12. I've coached, uh, I've coached collegiately at the two-year level. I've coached at the four-year level. And then I, I, I coached eight years in the Padre organization up here. Uh, I've, been with, I've been in spring training twice with two major league teams, both teams very well distinguished, the 86 Angels and the 92 Brewers. So I've, I've spent a lot of time with kids um, developing them as pitchers and hitters. And uh, I, have, I, I was actually a guest on the Stardust line for, for those of you that are really old time Las Vegas people and can remember when the Stardust was a, an entity on the strip, it <laughs> yeah. was the top property on the strip. And if you're a sports wagerer, um, the Stardust line was the number one show. It, it ran from 11 or 12, from 10, I think from 10 to 12 at night. And it was actually a nationwide broadcast. It went into Nebraska. So I. Uh, I went on that show and talked about pitching, and they got so many phone calls about people calling in wanting tips for their kids. I'm when should my kid throw the curveball, and we yeah, and I'm like, you know. So they actually had me back a second time, so that was pretty good. Yeah. And speaking of tips, later on in the show, I want to talk about your knowledge of baseball and what you also do later on in the show. We'll the, just tease them a little bit with there that. You go. So. There you go. There you go. So, you know, in working, in working with kids, you know, you develop a relationship with them and it's not a mom and dad relationship. And, and I like to think that when I work with kids, I teach baseball one way, the right way, and the only way. Yeah. And baseball should be played the same way from the ground up. And, you know, as an example, I saw a play last night where um, one of the better pitchers in Major League Baseball's career was ending. And I, I don't think that Tim Hudson will come back. I don't know if you saw it or not, but he is a pitcher for the Atlanta Braves. He's 38 years old. He was covering first base on a ground ball, Mm -hmm. and he got his foot on top of the base, and the base runner just crushed his ankle. And at 38 years old, I don't think he's going to come back from that. And that was a real disaster. And that's one of the things that I teach is the finesse part of the game on how to get over to the base and get yourself in a good position so that that doesn't happen to you. As much as teaching kids how to win and how to be better, I teach kids how to protect themselves physically. And now you find that the NFL is has a huge push to teaching kids how to tackle right and hit right and avoid concussions and stuff. Well, They're changing the, the way they do things. Yeah, it, it, the, the, the NFL is soon to integrate women in and it will become a, power, a powder puff league. That's, that's my forecast for the NFL. Really? It's a powder puff league. You can't hit anymore. You can't tackle anymore. <laughs> It's, you know the game. The game's done. So there's just too much money in it. When you get this much money in it, you have insurance companies like you know, like A Rod, A Frog, 
as I call him. Uh, <laughs> here he is trying to come back with the Yankees. Now they've got the claim of the fake injury. You just saw Braun um, get suspended for 25 games. And it's so hypocritical because the, the, everybody, turn, everybody turns against the game. They turn against the players. They turn against the owners. They turn against the union. Um, people don't understand the rules of baseball. Lie, steal, cheat, hit, and run. You know, if you understand baseball, you understand why these people do this. And they've been doing it for decades. Um, that's how I commit my crimes, by the way. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that's what we all do. Never let your daughter go out with a ball player. <laughs> that's the worst thing you can do. So, anyway, they say that about Marines, too. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> Uh, so the, at any rate, um, but now you have you have all the performance enhancing drugs, and now you have the Yankees that are basically trying to uh, cop, op, opt out of this contract with A-Rod. They don't want him back. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Yeah, they're they're, they're kind of stuck in the situation they're at contractually a little bit. They're a little stuck though, aren't they? That's oh, the only reason totally, they're. Totally. That's the only reason they're there right no, now. No, totally. Unless, unless, unless they can find a really good clause. So they have performance clauses. When you sign these contracts, there's performance clauses in there, honest services clauses, um, character clauses, you know? Mm -hmm. And if you're a person of bad character, such as, as Hernandez, mm -hmm. you, does, these, are, these organizations can pretty much opt out, especially yeah. in football because they don't really have that much guaranteed money in football. Yeah. If they throw you out in football, you're out in the street. With well, for Hernandez's sake, uh, hopefully the glove doesn't fit. Well, <laughs> I, I, I just don't see that working out for him. He doesn't have anybody in his corner. But, uh, you know, when you see these guys today that have been cheating and whatnot and doing it, you know, I blame the owners because in, in 1994 when they had the last baseball strike, they had the baseball strike in 84 and 94, and I was actually involved in both of them. Um, I would have been a comeback player in 94, not a, not a comeback, but a, a, a replacement player in 94. I would have either pitched for the Angels. I was 45 at the time, but yeah. I still threw pretty good, and I was in good shape. I've kept myself in good shape most of my life. So you um, did get into a game, though, right? Oh, yeah. And you pitched. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. And I got people out, too. <laughs> You got people out. That's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> so anyway, it wasn't a no hitter, but it, you got some people out. It wasn't. But at any rate, um, well, the last game I threw, I threw a one hit shutout. So no, oh, okay. I was 45 years old at the time, and that was That's against good. Pittsburgh Pirates scout team. So that isn't too bad. <laughs> any any um, uh, quick funny stories? Uh, millions of them. Probably millions of them. Maybe we'll get to that after we come back from <laughs> real baseball break or stories or movie baseball stories. <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably talk about that, and, and maybe we'll talk about the performance drugs and stuff in sports a little bit. And more. that's uh, and that's good. But you know, my goal is my thing is this: is that the owners wanted the quality of baseball to come up, that they wanted these guys doing that, and yeah. they supported it, and they totally looked the other way, and the players union looked the other way. And we both we both have our opinions on on things like that, and we'll talk about that when we. We come back because exactly um, it, it is and it, and it is an opinion it's a highly uh, volatile opinionated subject depending on who you're talking to yes. exactly and on that note we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll have more with Bob Faust lately there's been a lot of noise about gun ranges in Las Vegas well here's the one you've been waiting for the range 702 the largest safest, most luxurious shooting facility in Las Vegas, period. 50,000 square feet with a full line of the most popular firearms, including machine guns, great retail items, and Gary's Restaurant. Right off the I-15 on Dean Martin Drive, just north of Tropicana in the big blue building. The Range 702, take your best shot. Family owned and operated since 1964, Transmission Service Center has provided quality and friendly service for almost 50 years. We service and rebuild standard and automatic transmissions, transfer cases, and clutches. Visit our trusted certified professionals at Transmission Service Center at 3088 South Highland Drive or call us today at 702-735-9373. That's 735-9373. 
We are Reliable Auto Sales, a number one rated seller of top quality pre-owned exotic vehicles, cars, trucks, and SUVs with over 200 in stock. We have the best financing options for any credit situation in the industry. We offer 24-hour online operator assistance, vehicle warranties, payoffs, and we accept trade-ins. See our selection of vehicles at ReliableNV.com or visit us at 1815 East Sahara Avenue. Mention 1230 AM and get an additional $1,230 off your purchase along with other current dealer specials. Reliable Auto Sales, 7 702-737-6688. Why pay more? Go to Melinda's Tire Warehouse. Whether you need tire service for your car, motorhome, or even a semi-truck, come to us. We also specialize in brakes, pinups, struts, oil changes, transmission services, and towing. We have two locations to serve you at 1530 North Mellis Boulevard and 1800 North Boulder Highway. Both locations are open Monday through Saturday, 8 to 8, and Sunday, 8 to 6. Call 702-813-4072. India Masala Bar and Grill is Vegas' hotspot for North and South Indian cuisine, including Chicken 65 and Dosas. Lunch buffet served 1130 to 3 and dinner from 5 to 10. Compliment great food with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from their new bar. College students, military, firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel with credentials receive 20% off. Senior 65 plus 10% off. India Masala Bar and Grill, near Maryland and Flamingo at 1040 East Flamingo Road, 702-431-8313. Mastermind Tattoo Studio is Las Vegas' premier tattoo studio. With comfortable atmosphere and friendly staff, Mastermind is here to give you top quality artwork, fair pricing, and a fun, enjoyable time. We specialize in fine line, black, gray, color, and cosmetic tattooing. Come into Mastermind Tattoo at 3111 South Valley View Boulevard, Suite Q104, or call us at 702-227-3063. Rainbow Coins and Jewelry. We buy any size diamonds, jewelry, Rolexes, and fine watches. We pay top dollar for scrap gold, silverware, bars, gold and silver coins, and even platinum. We will beat anybody's price. Call now and set up a private appointment. Too many coins and jewelry to carry? Rainbow Coins and Jewelry will come to you. We have unlimited funds to pay you top dollar. Call Rainbow Coins today, 749-3333, 749-3333. Welcome back to Celebrity Onset. Uh, prior to commercial break, we were just going to get into some funny stories that Bob had relating to baseball, and uh, I'm curious to hear what they are. Well, one of the, one of the good stories is uh, I'm sure that everybody here in Las Vegas is familiar with the local TV shows, Pawn Stars, Counting Cars, American Restoration, and uh, the brother of Rick Dale, Ron Dale, who's also on American Restoration, uh, he played ball on my summer college team, and I worked with Ron as a private pitching coach uh, for, several, for several years. And uh, he was, a lot of people don't realize this, they see him on that show, but he was a high school scholarship four-year starter at USC as the punter out of Boulder City. And he led the nation in punting his senior year, was MVP wow. in the Rose Bowl game. The guy, had, the guy was a, a pretty good athlete uh, for a punter. At any rate, um, he comes out of college, he, so he came home his junior year and he came out and he pitched on my summer team and I started working with him and helping him a little bit. And uh, he was actually doing quite well, and when he went back to USC, he made the traveling team, uh, which was good. So now he's playing baseball and football at USC, which was, which was actually uh, a, nice, a nice bonus, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So anyway, the football season's over. He doesn't get drafted. He didn't get drafted in baseball, and he, he comes home. And I'm, I'm out, and I was working for the Padres at the time out of Cashman Field. That was when the Padres were the Las Vegas affiliate for the Pacific Coast League. And so I brought Ron out. I was out there, and there was always scouts out early every day. So I go out there, and I'm talking to this guy that scouts for the Yankees, and I'm like, do you need any minor league pitching help? I got a guy that throws pretty good. I think he's going to be a good one. And I had a little reputation as a pitching coach anyway. People, I've, I've sold several pitchers to professional baseball. I'm a, I'm a human trafficker, I guess. At any rate, um, in a good way. <laughs> At any rate... Uh, the scout tells me, yeah, we're looking for somebody for A-ball. I'm like, cool. He goes, can you have the guy come out tomorrow and throw? I said, yeah, 3 o'clock, right? So I tell Ronnie, dude, I got you an audition, man. We're going we're gonna to go out. We're going to throw up the scout. And if he likes you, you're going to get a job. So he comes out, and we're getting ready to throw. And here comes John Barr. He's the assistant uh, general manager for the Padres. Ed Lynch was the manager at the time, former Met. Um, 
that's another story. But anyway, John Bar John Barr comes out. I think he's the executive vice president of the Giants right now. Anyway, John Barr comes out and he's with the Padres and I'm like, hi John, because I know I'm in trouble, you know what I mean? Here I am. And he goes, he goes, hey Bob, what's up? And I'm like, nothing. And he's like, well, what do we got going on today? I said, well, you know, local kid, the Yankees are interested in him. He goes, well, you don't mind if I watch, do you? I mean, it's his ballpark. Of course I don't mind, right? So anyway, we, let, we, we get him out there, and I get him throwing, I catch his bullpen, and the Yankee scout goes, I'll take it. Let me go make the phone call and see how much money I can get. Okay, because I guess he didn't have cell phones. It was 1990. I don't think I had one in those days. So the guy goes to the payphone to make a call, and John Barr signs Ron Dale right on the spot. Wow. Gives him $3,500, I think, and off he went to A ball, and he wound up pitching a couple of years in the minor leagues. So I thought that was, I think that's one of my better stories. It's one of my favorite stories. That's something I never even knew. How funny is that, though, that, that you know, here's the scout, he's running up to get permission to sign the guy, and we got the other guy right there signing <laughs> him. I mean, that's a good day at the ballpark, folks. I don't care who you are. <laughs> and then, and then uh, you know, you always have, you always have, funny stories in baseball and, and, and there's a lot of them but for a local guy that's I think that's one of my better stories that I really that I really am proud that's of. a real interesting story it really is I I love learning something that you didn't know yeah. about somebody exactly so. and, they, and they keep Ronnie pretty low pretty low profile on the show there they don't really come out and he's not really the star of the show it's about his brother and the, yeah and the son so. funny how that that whole thing twisted around though you know what yeah, I mean? yeah I, I, I was you know I, I was like that I mean I had the bidding war going on I, I mean the I should have got him 50,000 the bro <laughs> the brothers out there scamming for junk metal and in the and and Ron's out pitching yeah. <laughs> for a major baseball team well, and now look at it exactly it rolls of reverse. yeah it's just kind of reversed it turned around a little bit it sure did so <laughs> But anyway, um, you know, and I've done some acting stuff. I auditioned to be Jack in the Box. I did the Jack in the oh, Box. Oh yeah, auction. that's right. <laughs> so let, let me talk about that one a little bit. So I, I get a call. From, I get a call from my agent. And he's like, uh, it, it was during the strike. Uh, Screen Actors Guild was on strike. I, I'm honest about it. Uh, no shame, no lies. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so he calls me up and he goes, I got an audition for a Jack in the Box commercial. He goes, you want to go do it? I said, of course I do. I mean, I, I want to, you know. I, I'd like to make a dollar and I'm interested in the business. It's not so much the money, it's the knowledge of the business because it's really tremendous when you go on these. And I've done several commercials and I've acted as the gaffer and set up shots for them. And that's how I got my start, yeah. you know, very, very, for peanuts basically, right. but you work your way up. You work your way up. And you, you learn. You start at the bottom. I think that's what all, what all great entrepreneurs in this country do is they start at the bottom and they work their way up and they try to learn every facet of their business. So I go for the audition for the, for the Jack in the Box commercial and the guy goes, we're also auditioning for Jack, for the actual role of Jack, because I just auditioned to be a character in the commercial. And I said, I'd love to, and they wanted somebody 6'3", 200 pounds, I'm 6'4", I was 210 at the time. And uh, they said, you know, you fit the profile, would you like to do the audition? I said, I'd love to do the audition. For, for anybody that doesn't know it, that's probably one of the better paying uh, television spots on TV, because they shoot so many commercials. Yeah. And um, it's just a great job. And the guy that, that did that is a genius because he basically saved Jack in the Box because they started doing those commercials with the head right after uh, Jack had uh, three or four children die from eating salmonella burgers up oh, in wow. Washington, I think in Northern California. So that guy saved that company with those Jack in the Box commercials. But <clears throat> I'll make it a long story short. The head <laughs> weighs 35 pounds, it's made of fiberglass. And the nose that you see on television is a camera and there's a monitor inside the headset and there's about an 18 inch depth perception and it's a real challenge to manipulate that, that head around. And I bet it was very hot inside that I'll head. I'll bet it was very hot in there too. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't know who'd been in there before you. Somebody was in there with, with the claustrophobia and they hurled, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I take it he didn't smell very good in there. It was rough. <laughs> it was a rough commercial. One of my favorite commercials with Jack in the Box is where the father with his big Jack in the Box head is sitting in the stands and uh, he's like yeah that's my boy right there and they're at his high school football game and you see all the high, sc high school football kids on the field there and they're running up and uh, 
out of all of them, you've got Jack's son there with a great big huge round those, those head. His commercial, his commercials are are among the best on TV, and like I said, he actually saved that corporation. Yeah, it's very enjoyable. They could actually probably make a funny movie out of it. So. The Jack movie. Yeah. <laughs> The true story of Jack. And, and there you go. Then you're, Maybe we should save this. This is intellectual property. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we might be able to produce that movie. So you want to get back into the more into the the entertainment yeah. stuff. Um, you know, I, a I'm little pretty, bit. I'm a pretty private guy. I, I like doing well, something. No one will know who you are because you got the big head on. Exactly. Big, big head oh, on. Exactly. <laughs> and that's probably like I said. That's like a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar commercial. And then I did another uh, commercial, and I, I can't. I did it from Miracle Air. I was the poster boy for Miracle Air. I was in all the Miracle Air stores in uh, in uh, the United States on the wall. If you went into Miracle Air, you saw me. I was the umpire in the commercial. So we're shooting this commercial, and we're out there, and they want this kid to slide into home into home plate. So I go over to the guy that's running the commercial, the gaffer, the director, the producer. And I get everybody together. And I'm like. This kid's a, look at this kid, he's, he's white with red hair, and I don't want to say I'm a profiler, because I'm not, but I am a little bit. But I, I look at this kid, and, and my guess is he's a bleeder. You know, if yeah. he gets cut, if he gets hurt on that commercial and he cuts, he's going to bleed. It's a hemophiliac, because it's just a trait of certain people, and, and you know, with white hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I said, you know, so I said, let's talk to his mom. Well, sure enough, he's a hemophiliac, he's a bleeder. So I'm like... So you want me to teach this kid how to run and slide, and then when he breaks his ankle and starts bleeding or something, we all get sued? Uh -huh. And they're like, well, maybe that's not a good idea. So we just set the, yeah, so I set the shot. It was a still commercial. It was a poster shoot. Oh, okay. So I set, the, I set the shot for him or whatever. But, you know, it's always nice to have somebody with common sense on your project. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to take some common sense right now, and uh, we're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be right back. Mastermind Tattoo Studio is Las Vegas' premier tattoo studio. With comfortable atmosphere and friendly staff, Mastermind is here to give you top quality artwork, fair pricing, and a fun, enjoyable time. We specialize in fine line, black, gray, color, and cosmetic tattooing. Come into Mastermind Tattoo at 3111 South Valley View Boulevard, Suite Q104, or call us at 702-227-3063. Double A Action Towing is Vegas' full-service towing company, providing many services, such as free removal of illegally parked vehicles, tows, businesses, and private parties. Double A Action Towing provides roadside assistance, including tire changes, lockouts, fuel delivery, and jump starts. Enjoy their car action every third Saturday of the month at 1 p.m. Open to the public and enter their cash drawing. Double A Action Towing, 3035 Westwood Drive. Call 737-9100. That's easy. 737-9100. India Masala Bar and Grill is Vegas' hotspot for North and South Indian cuisine, including Chicken 65 and Dosas. Lunch buffet served 11.30 to 3 and dinner from 5 to 10. Compliment great food with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from their new bar. College students, military, firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel with credentials receive 20% off. Seniors 65 plus 10% off. India Masala Bar and Grill, near Maryland and Flamingo at 1040 East Flamingo Road, 702-431-8313. Why pay more? Go to Melinda's Tire Warehouse. Whether you need tire service for your car, motorhome, or even a semi-truck, come to us. We also specialize in brakes, pinups, struts, oil changes, transmission services, and towing. We have two locations to serve you at 1530 North Nellis Boulevard and 1800 North Boulder Highway. Both locations are open Monday through Saturday 8 to 8 and Sunday 8 to 6. Call 702-813-4072. Mia's Hubcaps and Wheels has new or used original hubcaps and wheels for all makes and models. Call us if you have damaged or scratched wheels in need of repair. We're located at 2550 East Tropicana Avenue, open seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call us today at 702-444-5270. That's 702-444-5270. Rainbow Coins and Jewelry. We buy any size diamonds, jewelry, Rolexes, and fine watches. We pay top dollar for scrap gold, silverware, bars, gold and silver coins, and even platinum. 
We will beat anybody's price. Call now and set up a private appointment. Too many coins and jewelry to carry? Rainbow Coins and Jewelry will come to you. We have unlimited funds to pay you top dollar. Call Rainbow Coins today, 749-3333, 749-3333. Lately, there's been a lot of noise about gun ranges in Las Vegas. Well, here's the one you've been waiting for, the Range 702. The largest, safest, most luxurious shooting facility in Las Vegas, period. 50,000 square feet with a full line of the most popular firearms, including machine guns, great retail items, and Gary's Restaurant. Right off the I-15 on Dean Martin Drive, just north of Tropicana in the Big Blue Building. The Range 702. Take your best shot. Welcome back to Celebrity Onset. I'm your host, Tony Rowley. I want to remind everybody to join us at CelebrityOnset.com and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Celebrity Onset. Today's celebrity guest is Bob Faust. He's a former baseball player, uh, coach, scout, and actor, among other things. He's also been a radio host, correct? That's correct, Tony. I uh, did a radio show here on KROL in 1987, I think it was. Um, <clears throat> I did a show, it was based on sports gaming mm -hmm. and sports wagering, which is actually fairly popular in this state. And I know that we've talked previously ab about, on your show, about uh, possibly doing something. But uh, I had based my, um, my hopes on, on a radio show on a sports service on a bill that was recently uh, shot down in the state senate. And that bill was uh, a bill to legalize syndicated betting which means that I could run a sports service here in Las Vegas and people from all over the world, not just the United States, could send me money and I could bet for them. And you're sort of like a stockbroker or a financial planner. But the bill was shot down and I'm actually kind of confused as to why it was shot down because I think it would stimulate the economy and I, I, I don't understand it except unless the casinos are afraid that the recreational bettors will start turning to people that are more professionally inclined to bet every day and casino profits might fall. Do you think these uh, executives for these corporations are influencing the politicians on which way these kind of bills are swayed? Absolutely. Absolutely. The gaming industry is one of the biggest lobbyists in the United States. Uh, they don't want the online betting. They want everybody in their casinos. You know, if you, if you notice when you go out to casinos today, you hardly ever see live entertainment anymore. Uh, they want people focused on gaming and, and gambling. And, and this town really turned around. I, I came here, the, well, the first time I came here was 1956. So I'm not a young man, but I was then. <laughs> At any rate, that was the first time I came to Las Vegas. But I've been up here pretty much regularly since 1985. And I've actually seen a, a shift and a change in the town. You know, you don't get the you don't get the treatment that you used to get. You used to get a lot of personal service at mm -hmm. these casinos, and unless you're just a really exclusive high roller, you don't see that anymore. No, you don't. And you don't see the comps, and you don't see the room and the food, and hi Bob, how you doing, and whatnot. Yeah. It's you're the player card, and and that's where it's at. But to get to get back to the uh, wagering end of it. You know, it's basically, sports betting is a money market. It's just like the stock market. You can bet on the first five innings. You can bet the proposition bets. It's like we were talking uh, in between the commercial break about the guy the other day that bet $40, $400 yeah, yeah. on the fact, would there be a no-hitter in professional baseball? Well, Homer Bailey steps up and throws a no-no, and the guy wins $16,000. Now, that's a nice hit right there. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm never that lucky. I'm not either, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm not that gutsy. Uh, now, if, if I could make 16000 off from $1, I, I'd be, I'd be in there. That's a different story. That's a different story. Now you're talking megabucks. <laughs> but, you know, the, the, uh, the, the average people and me, I, I, I do wager on baseball, and I, I will bet one game a day, and I call myself dog of the day. That's my baseball handle. I, I'm thinking about a website or, or uh, maybe even a trying to get a segment on a radio show, but I call, I call my program Dog of the Day. And what I figured out is, is you bet one team a day, you make one bet, one straight bet, you're not playing sides, you're not playing the run line, you just, you just look at your, your matchups, and every day in baseball, you can get plus money. You can get plus 40%, plus 30%, plus 20% on your money on an everyday, on an everyday bet in baseball. And so that's, that's the kind of uh, philosophy that I, I would wager under, and that's the philosophy that I um, 
follow when I'm wagering. There's a, a lot of study aspect to it to be successful, though. You you really got to know your stuff. You got to know, I mean, you whether it's football, baseball, or whatever, if you're going to wager, or even if you are a person that handicaps the games and stuff like that, you got to know your stuff. But there's also computer programs that you can use, too. But then that, there's right? also the intangibles, too. I mean, when you have somebody like me that's been following baseball since I was eight years old, I have some experience and I know trends and I know players and I know some teams don't like each other more than other teams and all the intricate stuff. I'll tell you a funny story. I had a, I had a, my guy wanted to, uh, the guy that was the producer for the radio show that I did the sports segment on, he wanted to have Ozzie Smith on. Ozzie wrote a book. Ozzie, greatest shortstop that ever played yes. baseball. So, um, and I knew Ozzie. So he wanted to have Ozzy on the show, so he asked me if I could call up. Well, I didn't know Ozzy that well, but I had a pitcher on the Cardinals that I had worked with in the offseason that I had did some work with him, and now all of a sudden he's in the major leagues. Go figure, I don't know. <laughs> but at any rate, um, so I call him up in the clubhouse, and I'm like, hey, what's going on today? Blah, blah, blah. Um, can we get Ozzy to come on the radio show on a phone in? Would you ask him, tell him, tell him who I am, tell him how you know me, and it's a, it's a legitimate deal, and we want to talk about his book. So my pitcher friend goes, yeah, okay. So he runs over, he talks to Ozzy, Ozzy agrees to do the show. Everything's cool. Well, my friend happened to be pitching that day, and he's minus 145 in San Francisco. And I'm like, dude, how do you feel? He goes, my shoulder's killing me. I'll never get out of the second inning. <laughs> So, you know, you can get those tips too, but I highly don't recommend that. Um, that's not a good thing to be doing. You don't be calling them in clubhouses and asking Pete Rose, you going to win today? <laughs> Come on, Petey. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, we'll close it out with Bob Faust. Rainbow Coins and Jewelry. We buy any size diamonds, jewelry, Rolexes, and fine watches. We pay top dollar for scrap gold, silverware, bars, gold and silver coins, and even platinum. We will beat anybody's price. Call now and set up a private appointment. Too many coins and jewelry to carry? Rainbow Coins and Jewelry will come to you. We have unlimited funds to pay you top dollar. Call Rainbow Coins today, 749-3333, 749-3333. We are Reliable Auto Sales, a number one rated seller of top quality pre-owned exotic vehicles, cars, trucks, and SUVs with over 200 in stock. We have the best financing options for any credit situation in the industry. We offer 24-hour online operator assistance, vehicle warranties, payoffs, and we accept trade-ins. See our selection of vehicles at ReliableNV.com or visit us at 1815 East Sahara Avenue. Mention 1230 AM and get an additional $1,230 off your purchase along with other current dealer specials. Reliable Auto Sales, 7 702-737-6688. Family owned and operated since 1964, Transmission Service Center has provided quality and friendly service for almost 50 years. We service and rebuild standard and automatic transmissions, transfer cases, and clutches. Visit our trusted certified professionals at Transmission Service Center at 3088 South Highland Drive or call us today at 702-735-735. 9373. That's 735-9373. Mia's Hubcaps and Wheels has new or used original hubcaps and wheels for all makes and models. Call us if you have damaged or scratched wheels in need of repair. We're located at 2550 East Tropicana Avenue, open seven days a week, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Call us today at 702-444-5270. That's 702-444-5270. Melinda's Towing Auto Service and Tires delivers complete car care service. Come to us for tires, rims, brakes, cleanups, trucks, oil changes, transmission services, and towing. We have two locations at 4031 East Lakeland Boulevard, open 8 to 8, and 2530 East Tropicana Avenue, open 24 hours a day. Call us at 702-813-4072.
Tortilla Masala Bar and Grill is Vegas's hotspot for North and South Indian cuisine, including Chicken 65 and Dosas. Lunch buffet served 11.30 to 3 and dinner from 5 to 10. Compliment great food with alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages from their new bar. College students, military, firefighters, law enforcement, and EMS personnel with credentials receive 20% off. Seniors 65 plus 10% off. India Masala Bar and Grill, near Maryland and Flamingo at 1040 East Flamingo Road, 702-431-8313. Lately, there's been a lot of noise about gun ranges in Las Vegas. Well, here's the one you've been waiting for, the Range 702, the largest, safest, most luxurious shooting facility in Las Vegas, period. 50,000 square feet with a full line of the most popular firearms, including machine guns, great retail items, and Gary's Restaurant right off the I-15 on D. Martin Drive, just north of Tropicana in the Big Blue Building. The Range 702, take your best shot. Mastermind Tattoo Studio is Las Vegas' premier tattoo studio. With comfortable atmosphere and friendly staff, Mastermind is here to give you top quality artwork, fair pricing, and a fun, enjoyable time. We specialize in fine line, black, gray, color, and cosmetic tattooing. Come into Mastermind Tattoo at 3111 South Valley View Boulevard, Suite Q104. Or call us at 702-227-3063. Welcome back to Celebrity Onset. Uh, I want to remind everybody to join us on CelebrityOnset.com, Facebook and Twitter at Celebrity Onset. Today we're joined with Bob Faust, uh, former baseball player, uh, coach, scout, and actor. And, uh, Bob, uh, is there any way people can get in contact with, with, with you? Uh, you know, Tony, I'm actually a pretty private guy for a guy that does, uh, that does some distribution and stuff. Um, but I do, have a, I do have an email. You can reach me at robertfaust36 at gmail.com. robertfaust36 at gmail.com. And that's my email address. And for people... As, as we were talking during the break, I'm associated with Rico Austin and John Smith Presley, and uh, I do do some book distribution for them. So I am a distributor for their for the books. And, and for those of you that haven't watched our our uh, or shows in the past on the or listened to us on the radio, uh, he's talking about John D. Smith Presley, who is the son of Elvis Presley, and uh, there'll be a press conference in the future coming out, uh, laying out all the documentation. And Rico Austin is the author of one of the books about John um, called In the Shadow of Elvis, Perils of a Ghost Rider. Um, uh, and Rico also authored the book uh, My Bad Tequila. Yes. And so I, I act as the distributor for both of them. And it's kind of a it's kind of a work for gain uh, proposition because I actually am trying to write a yeah. couple of books and get a couple of books out. Um, I know I've lived a pretty boring life, but I'm going to try to spice it up a little bit in the book and see what I can do about that. So that's kind of what's in my future. And then, and then hopefully I might even be able to produce a movie or, or go down that road, too. <laughs> I, I, I think they're watching baseball here in our studio because I can hear the audio in the background or something. <laughs> it's coming into this studio, so I, it, it sounds like uh, somebody might be, you got them on the baseball exactly. we got, or we got something, because I'm people. hearing something out of one of the other studios. <laughs> It's not baseball because I don't hear the organ music. I hear a little bit. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have the organ music at the baseball park. That's all there is to that. So, uh, so you're you're distributing these books for John D. Smith Presley here in Las Vegas, right? Right. Actually, I, I, I actually I'm I'm um, in the distributor for Rico, and then I I help John with with different projects or whatever. I try to assist him the best way I can. I truly believe in his story. I've read the book. I truly believe in his story. I truly believe John. I've met him personally. I've known him for a while. Uh, I think he's a stand-up guy, and I think that, that when this is all said and done, this is going to work out in his favor. Oh, yeah. It's, it's amazing. Well, I want to thank everybody for joining us today on Celebrity Onset. I hope you have a great afternoon. And I want to thank Bob Faust for coming on the show. Always interesting. He has so many more stories I wish we could have touched on. And I want to thank you for being on the show Thank today. you for having me. And uh, we'll see you, uh, see you next time. Thank you.